Hello everyone, it is June 26 and today I'm going to pop into my hive. It's been about four or five days since I last went in there. I'm just going to check on things. When I went there last I saw brood and I saw eggs so I know that I have a mated queen but I just want to check on her productivity. I gave her some spun out frames last time and they were backfilling them with nectar but I want to make sure she has enough room to lay. And then I also am going to pull some honey frames. I'm going to probably take off that top super there and uh, go ahead and extract that so I have some spring honey and then I'll replace those empty frames back so the bees can refill them with more nectar. I'm also going to check on my two other small hives. The Reba Grant hive is doing really really well. I've been peeking in there refilling their syrup. They've been drinking syrup like mad but they're drawing out lots of comb. I'm also going to check out my nuke which I had a virgin queen in there and she's since mated and see how they're doing. They're pretty small and pretty weak so got to check on them as well but they're both taking syrup because they're both drawing comb. And drying comb means I'm just giving them empty foundation and they need to draw out the comb so they can either lay brood in it or the queen can lay eggs in it or they can store nectar in it. So that takes a lot of energy, a lot of resources, a lot of time, but it's a necessary part of a healthy hive. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get in there. it keeps the queen from going up into the supers. We don't want her laying in there. Okay, this is good. I see some, I put some empty foundation frames in here. Let's see if they've drawn any of this out. This middle one is drawn. Let's see if there's any eggs in it. Let's take, I'm going to take a frame out so I have some room that is not drawn. Hive population is definitely diminished. Okay, this is all, this is drawn, but it's filled with nectar. So they're using this as a super. <coughs> no signs of brood in this one yet. Just honey stores. So the empties here, and I'm gonna move the full ones to the outside. So they have room to draw. That is a heavy frame of honey. Okay, I'm just trying to draw this one out. It's great, more syrup. More honey, and they're building that one out as well. Great. Oh, super heavy. Okay, so I'm going to replace this. This is, for all intents and purposes, another super at this point. No signs of brood in here, but lots of room for them to add more honey. Make sure we close up all the gaps. Going down deeper. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Okay, so, I have empty foundation frames here, I have honey frames on the outside. There's drawing some right here, so let's, let's take a look. They're already starting to propolize things. Propolis is resin the bees gather from plants that glue and seal everything up. We pull these frames out, we want to go nice and slow. Okay, so this is honey, but room for brood. Okay, so this has room for brood, but it looks like it's getting filled with nectar. Let me go look at this in the sun, see if I can see any eggs. Nope, I don't see any brood on there, but I do see some... They're polished and they're ready, but I see some pollen and pink pollen. It's the first time I've ever seen pink pollen before. Okay, let's see on here. This is a frame that's been drawn, but nothing's in it. It's beginning to be drawn. Okay, this one is two nothing in it. All right, I'm hoping my queen is doing something down below or that I have a queen. I'm doing a little house cleaning here, scraping some propolis off the frames so that it's not so tight. And I move the frames around. The bees are always filling in gaps, so it's good to do a little house cleaning when you can. That's a beautiful pollen frame. Solid pollen. Put this back in here. 
go a little bit further. Be very gentle putting these back in because we don't want to crush bees if we don't have to, right? All right, next box. All right, so this has more bees in it, which is good. Give these a little bit of a puff. See the bees down in the frames? Still, very small population to what was once here. Relatively small population. All right, so last time I saw cap brood here and I'm seeing cap brood again. It's a great sign. That means my queen is laying, or she was laying at some point. I'm trying to look for our swarm cells. We don't want swarming. So, I'm gonna scrape off some propolis here. Let's just get in there. I'm going to remove the frames out here first to give me some space. And then push these back a bit. Grab one of these frames out. Okay, this is look like it's getting back filled with nectar again. <laughs> All right, Queenie, I want you to be laying. What are you doing, girl? Again, just doing a little bit of house clean here. Get some of this propolis off. All right, so I see bees looking at me. So just give them a little puff. Oh great, I have brood. Lots of brood. This is great. This is great, look at that. That's a beautiful solid brood pattern. I see a couple cups. Now, cups with the bottom. Now we're gonna check to see if those have eggs in them. If they have eggs, I have to make another split. Um, Cause that means they're gonna swarm. So, I'm gonna take a look at that. And see how that's doing. Empty. Empty, good, empty. So I just smushed it open there, and they're empty, which is great. This is a great solid brood pattern here. Let me scoot my bees off so you can see. This is great, and that's for both sides of the frame. That is great. And there's some recently hatched brood, it's not capped yet, and surrounded by honey, so they definitely have food. Now, when I look on these brood frames, I'm also looking for my queen. She's not marked, so looking for her too. But happy to see that. All right, let's see if they're drawing this frame out. I just gave this frame to them last time I was in here. This is great, this is all recently drawn. This is a frame that I might see my queen on, but this is great. That was empty and now it's drawn out with new wax. Let's see, do I see my queen anywhere? I see some activity. She's usually very fast, and she's of course bigger. Now I'm gonna check out this frame to see if I see any eggs on it. Go look in the sun. So no eggs on this frame yet, but I'm heartened to see that this is drawn and ready for her when she is ready. Queen will lay eggs to what the hive can also take care of. If there are not enough bees to take care of new brood, that also limits her laying. Now what I'm looking for now, I see signs of brood, I'm looking for eggs or my queen or queen cells. So this is all empty. This would be a perfect place to lay. So let's go see if I can find some eggs. So I don't see eggs in there as well. A little bit worried at this point. I really hope my queen did not swarm. Okay, so they're starting to roar. They're getting a little bit cranky. So I just want to see signs of eggs in here and then I'll, I'll leave you girls alone. So good brood pattern. Oh, I see some more cups. Let's check those out. Empty, empty, empty. Good. So far these are all empty. Empty. So that's good. Good brood pattern. New babies are coming soon. New bees. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. All right, I see more cups. I'm gonna check those cups out too. Empty, empty, empty. No eggs and no larva, which is good. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape these off because I don't want to crush anything when I move these things around. Pollen, pollen, larva frame. Oh, I see recently hatched larva. That's good. I'm gonna see for eggs. Okay, so I see larva in here. Recently hatched larva, but I don't see eggs which is always worrisome. So I'm gonna go down deeper and see if I can find some eggs. Okay. First 
things first. I'm gonna create some space to work. And I see nectar. That is a pollen frame. So usually on the outside of the brood nest, there is pollen and honey or nectar stores for food. Those are usually the outside frames. Okay, pollen frame, pollen frame. Okay, this is, they're filling up with nectar. I emptied it for brood. So empty this frame out and there's no sign of eggs. So that frame should be perfect for laying and no sign of eggs. This is worrisome. This hive was just queen right. Oh, there's brood in here. That's a good sign. Let's see if there's eggs in this room. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is queenless, but I haven't seen any signs of eggs. So I've taken a frame from another hive that I have with a little bit of eggs and very young brood on it. So if they decide to, they need a queen, they can make one using these eggs. So that's a little experiment. If you don't see a queen, you can add some eggs to it, and they can therefore use those to make a new queen. I didn't see any developed swarm cells, so I'm kind of confused about this whole situation. But at any rate, I'm going to give them this and see what happens. So I'll put the eggs here, and if they need them, they'll use them. They always say when you first take a beekeeping class, try to keep more than one hive if you can. Then you can take resources from one to help you in another. So what I did is I shook off the bees from the frame, and now I'm going to introduce the frame of eggs to here. So I'm going to take this one out. Definitely don't seem to be as booming as they were last week. It's definitely concerning. Make sure the queen from the other hive isn't on here. Shook most of the bees off. Put that in there and I'll come back in a few days to see what's happened. Okay. Alright, so this is my Reba Grant queen hive. This is where I just took some uh, eggs from. So, that is a nectar frame. This queen is really easy to spot. She's bright blue. So, hopefully I'll see her. I have seen signs of eggs. It's always best when you can actually see the queen. Get another frame here. To draw out on. This hive has been doing really well. And this started off as a split from my mother hive, and it was unsuccessful, so I introduced a, a new queen, and it's been doing really well. So I'm gonna remove some of this burr comb so I don't inadvertently squish bees when I put the hive, next hive body on top. Careful in this process not to try to squish any bees. Sorry, girls, you don't like this. It all nice and tight. Put this one back on top. I've been feeding these girls a lot of syrup. They've been drinking it, so I've been feeding it to them. We always give, we always give carbohydrates when we're trying to get them to drop home. I just want to spot my queen. That's a beautiful brood pattern. You see that? Solid. That's none of that are queen cups, that's just um, burr comb or bridge comb. They draw that so they connect the top and bottom supers. Okay, this would be a good place for my queen to be. See eggs in there? Great. I don't see her. Where are you, girly? So I see eggs in here. Every frame is, every cell's got an egg. 
but I really want to see her. This hive is relatively small, so it's easier to spot the queen. Okay, I'm going to grab a few frames for this hive. And finally, this is my split that made their own queen. I took a frame of queen cells and I put it in here. This is just a very small colony. It's a nuke, essentially. And I put it in large hardware because I didn't have a nuke. But basically, this is about three frames of bees. So yesterday, I gave them a little boost by giving them a frame of eggs, and now I'm going to check on them and see how they're doing. So also for my strong Reba hive, I gave them some eggs, and I want to see how they're doing. Let's see if I can spot the queen in here as well. So. Okay, larva looks like they're being well tended to. Oh, there's queen there. See her right there? She's right there. At least I saw one queen today. That's the queen. Can you see her? She's very fast. She's right there. Where is my finger? Can you see her? There she is. Where'd she go? I lost her. Oh, I do see one. Is this an old one? A new one. There's the queen. There she is darting away. She's very fast. There she is. Her abdomen looks nice and fat. That's good. Oh, great. So there are eggs in the cell. Great. So there are eggs in here. So she's laying. That's great. Beside the frame I introduced, she is laying. So that's good. All right. I'm going to leave these girls. So, very small colony. Just about three or four frames of bees. Alrighty. Tuesday, June 26th. So, just when you think you've gotten everything squared away <laughs> and all of your hives are queen right, you find that maybe they're not, which I guess is the world of beekeeping, right? Or newbie beekeeping. This is only my second year. So what did I learn today? Main hive. I saw brood, lots of capped brood, very little developing brood or newly hatched brood. I didn't see any eggs. Doesn't mean I missed some, but I didn't see any eggs and I didn't see my queen. But I didn't see any signs of swarming either. Cups, but empty cups, nothing. Nothing developed, so nothing indicating that she was wanting or the hive was wanting to swarm or that she took off. Um, population's pretty small though, uh, so I don't know. I'm not sure if this hive is queenless is, is I guess what I'm saying. So what I did was I gave them a frame that had some eggs on it from my other hive and if they are queenless, what they'll do is start making their own queen with those eggs since there wasn't any eggs in there for them to use to make a new queen. So I'll come back in here in a few days and see if I see any signs of eggs. If I do, that means the queen is still there. If I see signs of queen cells, that means they're queenless and they're developing a new queen. In that case, I might just combine my nuke with this one because I have a queen in there that is fertile and mated. So then that way, um, yeah, I'll be set. So yeah, I'll be back here in a few days to see if this hive is queen right or not. And then I'll take those measures if I need to. So in the other news, my other two hives, the Reba Grant Queen Hive is doing really well. It's booming. It's doing great. I didn't see the queen, but I did see signs of eggs, so I hope she's there. The split, the little mini tiny nuke hive there, I did see the queen. So that's always good. It's always good when you can spot the queen. But I didn't see my bright blue queen for my Reba Grant Queen, which always has me a little bit worried. But I um, did see eggs at least. So there's that. Thanks you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!